Polybridge 2 got a new update. It is a kind of minor update, but there is some new content. You can actually see it behind my face. Oop. There is a weekly challenge. Every single new week, they're gonna come out with a brand new officially released bridge that I guess is gonna have its own unique scoreboard and I guess it's gonna be about competing to get the highest score on. Let's go into this then. Let's try the weekly challenge. The top budget for this bridge is 80,000. 16th place is top, or is 134,000. So it's a very expensive bridge. Let's take a look at what the weekly challenge has in store. Yeah, we got us a big bridge right here. $256,000 budget, giant bus, giant gap, three checkpoints. So you gotta make a nice little wiggly bridge. Reminiscent of uh, a level in the first bridge game where you have to do the same with a Model T. This is a little bit harder though because it's way heavier. This thing's kind of tall, so I was thinking of just having this drive up, but I, sh I could be smart here. I could have it only go maybe this high. It even lower, to be honest. It, it could be really low. And then we just gotta go down and barely snag the star. So I'm gonna take this, flip it. Yep, look at that, meets right in the middle. Here's what I'm thinking. An arch that maybe goes up to about here. Cause then what I could do is kinda just go across? Or maybe, maybe not even there, maybe to here. Listen, I'm very indecisive, I think you all knew this. But I'm just kinda setting this up and then what would happen is that we would come across the top like this. And then flip it. Nice. So let's do the middle first. I do have to actually have these be steel. I, I, they could be wood though. Let's let's do them as wood because wood is cheaper. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be trying to go and go for best budget on this, so I might as well get a little bit started. And then down below, I might just do a bunch of steels. I'm almost debating if I want another top arch. Another possibility is to have it be a bottom arch, but let's, let's explore this first. I, I like this one the most. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is gonna hold, but if it does, that would be spectacular. Let's see. All right, it actually holds up by itself quite nicely. It only gets to 50 something percent stress in the beginning, and the only real problem are these roads, so far. Oh, uh, yep, so it was one of these roads that snapped, but I noticed this was getting bad too, but to be honest, for a first attempt, that's really good. I can't be mad about that at all. So let's reinforce some stuff and then maybe potentially try to do muscles on the bottom. That was, it was sick. That was not bad. Now let's have a muscle that reaches a single muscle that goes out to here. So a longer muscle, maybe this will get the job done. We're over 100K. Don't really care though. Over 100K is still a good amount of progress. Just keep an eye out on these pieces of steel. Oh, we hit the checkpoint. No way, wait, we hold on, hold your breath. Hey, not, yeah, not bad. Not bad for a first completion at all. 100,000 for a week one. That puts me at eighth place already. I'm sure this can be overtaken, but I bet we could shave 20K on this easy. I think in here we can do something. Something like this, with just more stabilization. It looks less pretty this way, but it should hold better. And it seems like that's the case, $3,000 off. Under half budget, top five, by the way. Eunice, where you at? Oh, I know where he's at. He's waiting until the last day and then he's gonna hit us with a $50,000 bridge. But I'm still gonna put in my best because I don't know if I'm gonna attempt this multiple times a week. I just would like to do this now. So let's lower this. And you know what? I bet it could be wood. I am placing my money on this being able to be wood. Let's get a nice consistent wood arch, something nice and tall. 90,000 if this works. We are seeing some issues up here, so that's a little unfortunate. But maybe I could have a couple of these be steel and we'll be all right. He says, is that a disadvantage because his biggest asset is his patience? But he can still get a lot done in a short period of time if he has to. So I can see it working out. Either way, we replaced a couple of woods with steels and that was enough to get me to 93,000. I genuinely feel really good about this design. So glad he got auto triangle it in. It seems pretty cool. So let, 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 let's take a look. Say we want to make a triangle. It'll show where the lines are. Ah, uh, like bridge constructor portal. Or I guess more relatable world of goo. This is actually really nice for new players. This is super nice. This is so much more friendly for people trying to get in the game. Hopefully this is included in the tutorial. 
because 100% this will help out new players. So let me look at this again. All these steals down here, they get pretty stressed. You know what? This doesn't get that stressed though. My power went out randomly during this week. Like it was a very short burst, but I was like this close to streaming that day. And when the power flashed off, I was like, well, you know, I'm pretty glad I didn't stream because it would have just been really annoying if at any point you know, the power just flashed off during the stream. Let me try something. Let me try making this steel longer so that the muscle will be a shorter length. And then I think indirectly the rope should be shorter as well. That's just an overall win, I would imagine. Let's try it. 88k if it works. Uh-oh. Ooh, so that piece is getting stressed. Uh, so the muscle should be a tad longer. Nice! Under 90,000. I kind of want to pass a bolt if I'm not getting first place. You know, beating the dev seems pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this could be a regular road. Uh, I knew this one could be fine. Although I wonder if the two next to it could also be fine. It's actually even less stress. I mean, these undergo stress, don't get me wrong, but I'm wondering if maybe magically they won't get stressed. Oh, would you look at that? So it really is just this side that gets stressed as far as roads are considered. Fourth place, coming for you, Bolt. Two more regular roads and we're set. This was the road that broke the first time I ran it, so if this is the only road that's reinforced, I'd be pretty happy. But now we gotta try getting rid of it too. How is my stress getting better? It weighs less, so that must be part of it. Oh, it's just the better bridge. It's just better. There we go. We beat the dev. $250 above Bolt to 986. 97% stress, though. It's like I don't want to give up. Now I want to beat Minecat. I don't think I'll be able to beat Koi because Koi is in a league of his own right now. But, I mean, now that I have less stress, maybe I can do something better. I don't know, it just feels like this whole middle section does not need to be this expensive. That's not gonna hold though, right? Well, maybe. I don't even know if I saved money. I forget my old budget already. $1,000 away from Minecat. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just bump this up a little bit and I'm just gonna barely squeak under Minecat. And maybe I'll return to this at the end of the week. Maybe I won't. But either way, I'm gonna take that solid second place and then move on. I might even need a redesign if I want to shave off another 5k. But this was good. We went through a lot of shaves. I got second place at this moment that we know of. So, here's what else we're going to do today. With a new update, actually came a reordering of the challenge mode levels. So four levels left to beat challenge mode. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hop in the challenge mode and beat these. Let's go to sorting. I skipped over this last time I did it, but I thought about it long and hard and I have a new idea for how I wanna do this. We're gonna get rid of this. So the challenge mode version of this is that they added in a plane, so you can't just raise the dudes up. But I've decided to raise them down or lower them, some might say, but that's not a word I like to use here. And we're gonna lower them so that A can come down and then below it we'll have a road for D to be able to travel on. So let's build this up here with the roads on top. All that's gonna happen is that this is gonna get pulled down. And what's, then what we're gonna have is just supports going to the side like so. This is the sole of the bridge. So then all we have to do is just pull this down and I'll just use simple hydraulics. We wanna go a distance of 1.5 meters, so we're just gonna have them be three meter long hydraulics that simply just pull down. Let me just make sure this holds and that it does come down. No, it falls, right, because it's not balanced. And why would I be so silly to assume that it wouldn't rotate? So let's add a, a bit of a rope friend, like this. There, good, it connects. So now this guy's gonna drive on and I don't want that to happen. That wasn't part of the plan. We do not want to do any hydraulics here or after the F car goes. So here's why. So when D is gonna drive across, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna have like a little mini ramp on it. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm, I'm just gonna have a little road to have it go over. And then what I could do is add weight. So this gets dragged down. This might need to weigh more though. It, yeah, it, uh, we do push it. I don't think that could work, right? Although if it does, that'd be kind of funny. 
Nah, it's not gonna push that. It needs to drive over. If I want this to fall down on this side, I need to add more weight. It's dragging it down a little bit, but still not much. <gasps> oh, come on. Okay, so we learned that we probably need a little bit better of a drop off. But yeah, there we go. I mean, maybe need to add more weight in the front now because we now added weight in the back to compensate. <gasps> but it could work. All right, that's kind of an annoying break, but I imagine we should be good there. There we go. Simple. Let's fix that break and get it over with. So it's just that little piece. Let's just make it a steel, and I think there should be enough steels to add weight. Hopefully it doesn't affect anything, and voila! Piece of shit. Maybe just make this heavier? Maybe just make this shorter. Nice! No breaks. As long as it doesn't break over here. Yep, that's a win. Oh no! It didn't count. Game didn't see it, therefore it didn't happen. <laughs> All right. So let's see what else we gotta do. Let's go to leverage. This was really easy in the normal mode, so let's see how much more challenging it is. So they added a second plane. So when does this plane come? It comes after the vehicle goes over once. Interesting. So the plane is here. So I might need to do what people who went for really cheap solutions did. I might need to add roads in the gap between the plane's existence. What I did before was that I just built a straight road across and had a gap here with roads that the vehicle would push over because once the vehicle is gone, all issues in the middle were resolved. So I could simply just push this road into place and it would lock in with springs and it would be fine. Nothing would break. It would go across and come back. But now there's a plane that comes after this goes across. So what I need to do is a bridge that kind of looks like this at first. And then what you kind of do is a weird series of supports with roads that go like this. And you might be saying, what the fuck is this? It, it just works, okay? It's gonna drive on the edge of the road. We have 100,000, so I can really just overbuild this and be fine. All uh, right, let me first make sure that this holds. Okay, it's a little wiggly. By a little, I mean a lot. There we go. Uh, I should probably build a bridge down below. All right, let's try it. Oh, that can happen. That's funny. All right, let's raise this up. All right, so let's see if this works. Oh, the truck also has to get back, I just noticed. All right, so very cool that this really didn't work at all. So what I think I need is just way more supports. Like this. Now, admittedly, this is a terrible set of gaps to be able to drive on. Plus, it's got to make it both ways. But let's try to be as greedy as possible with this. All right, so one, it doesn't hit the star, I just noticed. And two, it, you know, still doesn't drive through. So let's keep bringing this up, I suppose. I'm shocked that the plane does not destroy this. It really looks like it's overlapping, but it's not. What a bait. Okay, we're getting dangerously close now. Let's just keep pushing this up. Imagine they patch this too. You know, I feel like they kind of should. <gasps> oh, we got the checkpoint, but the back wheel gets stuck. Now that I think about it, though, going down is so much easier than going up. So I wonder if I actually want to lower this for that reason. So these ends of the roads can be level with the this top road. Yeah, I think that's it. I still don't think we are, have the quite ideal heights, but I think that's the idea I need to take. Every time I think it's the closest it can possibly be, I move it in another pixel and my mind gets blown. I'm not joking that I'm, when I say that I'm very surprised that this is still kind of working. <gasps> nice! Everything's good. This drives again, by the way. So this guy is supposed to relate to the move of the bridge, I know. Let's just hope it makes it coming back. It does! That was not that bad. I feel like with my practice of gaining zen in pixel tweaking for getting top 1% has really trained me for this moment. I feel that much more at peace, which is finding the right pixels for this bridge. 